So what are these little brass things on the bottom of some receptacles and switches and other electrical devices? Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today let's go over self-grounding clips. That's what those little brass items are called, and let's discuss why some of them might be differently shaped and why some receptacles and switches don't have them at all. And, of course, we're going to be going over the 2023 NEC code, and we're going to look and check and see what the NEC handbook might have to say to help us further understand them. And to help us properly understand, we'll need to know what a yoke or a strap is. The yoke, which is sometimes used interchangeably with the term strap, is a mounting means for a wiring device. The yoke of a receptacle is the frame. That is, it's the metal portion of the receptacle that is used to mount a device to the outlet box. Also, you'll need to know that the green wire in the photograph is called an equipment bonding jumper, and a self-grounding clip can be used in place of an equipment bonding jumper, or better yet, they can be used together. Here is 2023 NEC Article 250.146, Connecting Receptacle Grounding Terminal to an Equipment Grounding Conductor. An equipment bonding jumper shall be used to connect the grounding terminal of a grounding type receptacle to a metal box that is connected to an equipment grounding conductor except as permitted in Article 250.146A through D. The equipment bonding jumper shall be sized in accordance with Table 250.122. So here's A right here, surface mounted box. If a metal box is mounted on the surface, the direct metal to metal contact between the device yoke or strap to the box shall be permitted to provide the required effective ground fault current path. At least one of the insulating washers shall be removed from receptacles that do not have a contact yoke or device to ensure direct metal-to-metal -metal contact. Direct metal-to-metal -metal contact for providing continuity applies to cover-mounted receptacles if the box and cover combination are listed as providing satisfactory continuity between the box and the receptacle. And here we have B, contact devices or yokes. Contact devices or yokes designed and listed as self-grounding shall be permitted in conjunction with the supporting screws to establish equipment bonding between the device yoke and flush type boxes. So the self-grounding clips have to be designed and listed as self-grounding. Here is an example of a receptacle that is listed on the Leviton website as self-grounding. And here's another example for another Leviton receptacle on its website that is listed as self-grounding. I want you to notice though that these two receptacles have a slightly different kind of self-grounding clip. I called Leviton to ask why the different kinds of self-grounding clips and they explained to me that each receptacle or switch or device is engineered to be self-grounding with the appropriate clip for that particular device. But both these kinds of self-grounding clips are listed self-grounding clips. For an example, I will install a GFCI with a self-grounding clip, but with no equipment bonding jumper in the metal box. So to wire a receptacle without an equipment bonding jumper that is just using the soft grounding clip, you attach the ground wire to the ground terminal and the hot and neutral wires to their terminals and then making sure that at least one of the screw washers 
is off. You could take them both off if you prefer. Attach the receptacle firmly to the metal box. And here I've turned the circuit breaker on and inserted a receptacle tester. And on this particular tester, one green light in the middle represents correct wiring. So that shows you that the tester is indicating there's correct wiring even though there is no equipment bonding jumper in the box. And the 2023 NEC handbook has an exhibit this year showing and describing a self-grounding clip. As for the devices that do not have self-grounding clips, these are predominantly residential grade devices, but not always. There may be an engineering reason to not include a self-grounding clip. So be it an economic reason or an engineering type reason, some devices don't have self-grounding clips. But as a general rule, your more expensive devices will have them and the cheaper ones won't. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful. Here's Sparky at Clearwater Beach, putting sunscreen on his neck. Look at our beautiful day. And here's the beach, and here's the pier. Clear Pier, Clearwater Beach, Florida.